Hi. Well, my son, who's five on autistic spectrum, is really motivated by, say, a boxes and specifically, you know, things you can lock and lock and, and I've um, used in the past um, a box with a lid, which was very hard to open, to encourage my son to say, help me, please. So it will be a transparent box. You will see his um, a favorite item inside, but he wouldn't be able to open. And I will just not respond to anything but his, verb his verbal request, help me please. And he'll be rewarded naturally by, you know, getting what he wants. Now, um, when we are looking at moments when, you know, you are busy and you want to relax and sit down for a minute and you want your child to do um, something else, um, rather than obsess with the locks and doors and make noise. You know, those sort of things are great, you know, because well, the lock is here and the opening, closing um, idea that our children with autism really love, it's also here. So it kind of keeps him at the table. Um, and then you can put all sorts of different rewarding toys inside um, that you can encourage your child to play and um, also that you can develop a game out of it. So what's in a box? It's a frog. We can either sing a song about a frog, you know, four little speck of frogs or what have you. Uh, or we can do frog, it's bouncing and introduce a new word like bouncing. Um, or if the child plays by himself, maybe you'll be just rewarded by this flashing light. What else? It's in the box and you can look into it and there's a glass. Ooh. Well, here's the thing. For children who are not particularly keen on the eye contact, this is a real magic glass because you put them onto your face and show how funny your face look like um, through the glass. And very often it just, there is this moment of them, you know, giving you the really rewarding uh, eye contact which is lots of fun not to mention that it's just so much fun going around the house and uh, seeing things through different perspective so that's a real fun toy and this, these things are really cheap to get as well a balloon never ending uh, opportunities for all sorts of different games you can do and then you know other silly stuff that you can get small things you know woohoo these are little um, ladybirds that you need a little fine motor skill exercise to get them going for you and well you can move that onto the floor and create a game of turn taking and chasing so box put something for your child every day in a box to play something you know they haven't seen for a while then hide the toys for a while rotate them bring them back in so they have a fresh and exciting view on it and yeah, have fun, be creative.